So now we are going to plot the frequency response in a Bode plot. And all this really means is that we look at our two, we have calculated the magnitude and the phase shift that occurs due to the signal, a frequency signal going into the function, whatever the system is, G of S. And we want to plot the magnitude and the phase and we can do them separately. So we'll look at just the magnitude and we'll plot it as the frequency changes, right? So as we change omega here, how does the magnitude change? And as we change omega here, how does just the angle change? So we're gonna take an example and we're going to look at G of S. Very simple example. First we're gonna look at just S. And so let's look at each of these. First, so we're gonna take various test points of S, and we're gonna look at how it affects the magnitude and the phase. So we're gonna make a little table here. One thing I wanna point out is that when we plot the magnitude, on a standard body plot, you're going to use, we're gonna plot the magnitude in dB, which means that all you really have to do is take 20 times the log, and it's log base 10, for your reference, times this value, so the mg. So whatever the value in here is going to be, you take the log of it and you multiply it by 20 and then you'll plot it over here. And you'll see, we're gonna take in this example and plot all of those values. So let's take, first, we're gonna look at point one. It's one of the simpler points. So let's look at s equals j one. So omega equals one. All right, so if we take the magnitude of that, luckily our transfer function is very easy, right? It's just s, so the magnitude of this is going to be simply, it's gonna be one, right? But when we put in the magnitude here, so I'll write it small here, it'd be 20 log of one, but log of one is zero, so we get just zero out. So that's our value. So we're gonna plot that. At point one, we get a dB magnitude of zero. Okay, so now let's go through and take the phase of this. The phase of this is pretty easy. It's just I, so on our, our plot here, this is small, sorry, real and imaginary. It's just pointing in the upward direction, right? So it's just upward in the imaginary, positive imaginary. So it's just gonna be 90 degrees. Okay, so we can go here now, go to point one, and plot that point at 90. Okay, so we have one point, let's do a few more points. So we're gonna go up to 10, so we're gonna put j equals 10, sorry, the omega equals 10, which means s is equal to j times 10. And if we put that into here again, now we have 20 log 10, so it's kinda small. Um, let's try to, try to look at it that way, okay. Um, so J10 is our S, and then when we put it into here, our log of 10 is just one, so it'd be one times 20, so we get 20. I'll put dB here, dB. All right, and if we look at the angle of this, again, it's pointing the same exact direction, just positive in the imagine, on the imaginary axis, so that's just 90. Okay, so we can plot this point, 90 here, and then 20 dB is approximately here. So we have a, another point here. Let's do an, a few more points. So let's look at j times 100. Okay, if we put in our value here, right, 20 log of 100, we're just gonna get log of 100 is two times 20, so it's gonna be 40 dB. And then again, the j is always in the same direction, so we still just have a 90 degree here. So let's plot that up here. So 100, we get 40 dB. dB is about, about here. And we still get 90. Okay, so you may be sensing a trend. We'll do, I'll just write down the, uh, the other one. So let's do 0 0.1 real quick. 0 0.1 here. We put that into our log. So then this time we get 20 log of 0 0.1, which is going to be negative one times 20, so we're gonna get negative 20 dB. And our angle is still the same, so it's still 90 degrees. So we plot that, we get 90 here, and negative 20. 
I'll give you a hint on the last one. It's going to be negative 40 and again positive 90 here. So if you go through yourself, you can see that if you put this point into there, you'll get negative 40 dB and 90 degrees. Okay, so if the trend's not clear enough, you can do it for yourself. But what we'll have here is pretty much a straight line. I'm not very good at drawing straight lines. This is supposed to be straight between these points. And if we look at it per decade, so a note, this is the log scale. So we're looking at you know, different decades. For every decade, we're going up 20 dB. So this is 20 dB per decade increase. Okay, And then this one is just straight 90 the whole way through. So no matter what frequency you give me, if I plug it into our equation here, it's always going to be in the facing upward in the imaginary axis, so it's always going to be 90 degrees. So this is the basic Bode plot for this very simple function. And this angle of 20 dB per decade is going to be important for when we're looking at how poles affect the Bode plot, so just remember that for this. All right, so we've gone through, used these basic equations on our given transfer function to figure out the frequency response for the Bode plot and look at it in terms of magnitude, in terms of dB, and then the phase, and most of the time we use angle, but you can, degrees, but you can also use radians if you want. Okay, so that's the Bode plot.